to see that they are dividing the job into three places. The, uh, initially, uh, Gracie said, when I asked the qu Gracie that question, he said they, they divide the job into the that bracket. It's hardly the, uh, the criminal parts. Why they, they are uh, under the civil parts? But at the end of the day, the criminal part is still falling to the side. Because this, uh, this quest is, is criminal plan. Yeah? Please hold on. I'm going to take this um, show to another dimension. Ordinarily, I'm thinking we should be random up, or we're not random. You know, because there is a part where you talk about Mr. Muiwa now, and uh, you know Baba Mubabirekete. I would have said some things, but I will not. I will bring Mr. Muiwa up now. You understand? But please, and please, I won't want us to disrespect his presence. Because um, I think Kani Azuko, someone mentioned that the the response he gave the last time was shallow, kind of. That to me, he, he needs um, to clear more information. He needs to clear some path. So it's going to come up now, any moment from now. So please let us try as much as possible to ask questions. Because ordinarily, I want us to round up before, because, uh, you know, it's already six minutes past three. That is 3.06 a.m. This is midnight. I you know once I'm on, I'm on. Except I get tired. I don't that's why I don't come all the time. So anytime Timbati I'm very for journey. So let me bring Mr. Amuiwa to come and give us some information. Before he comes up, remember Mr. Amuiwa is the face of the legal team of Baba Mubad. Is is Baba Mubad in absentia? Is a direct member to you know of the family, a member of, in this case, he is everything we might want to know about this case so please feel free to enjoy him so baba i'm uh, sorry mr amuwa uh, i want to up uh mr amuwa please uh, send in your request if you can hear me if you are here let us have you come and clear some information uh my moderator please if you can see mr amuwa please um just help me to bring him up my moderator please help me to bring him up if you can see him here Mr. Mwai, if you are here, please just say I in comment section. Say I, sir. Please say I. Okay. Have you changed to Awe? I'm seeing Awe. Are you Awe? I don't know, but let me just try to see if you are Awe. Mr. Mwai, I don't know. It seems you have changed your name. I'm not seeing you yet. Are you there? Miss Amiwa, I can Hello. Shiny yellow, I win. I win, I won't be there. I win. I don't know. I'm actually looking for Miss Amiwa, your delay. I don't know uh, who I'm. I win. I win. It's all right in a kitty. Okay, okay. So sorry, I didn't notice you had the one. Um, yes. Sir, I, I see that. I, yes, I, 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 can, I can see that since the beginning of this program, um, up to this present moment, you've been part of the program, watching behind the scene, yeah, just the same way a lot of people from other camps too are doing. And uh, post all, all the positive um, vibe people and negative vibes uh, people are also doing the same. But you have listened to a lot. I don't need to do a recap. Is there anything so far so good that you'd like to talk about or to react to before questions will come? Because I know you have been listening since the beginning of the show. So, is there anything you want to quickly react to? Quickly? Yeah, good evening, everybody. Then, you know, good morning. It's some part of the some, some part of the world. I I want to use this opportunity to thank you, every citizen, every city of Nigeria, every city of Africa, every citizen of uh, other part of continents that believe in the cause of the justice that by the grace of God we are going to get justice by God's grace. Um, thank you all for support for the family and I thank you all for uh, support justice for Mubad. So I've been listening to what people have been saying but I won't want to I won't want to answer some certain thing, but if anybody need any questions, so let me just answer one or two questions. 
Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Question. Yeah, I have a question, sir. Good evening, Mr. Mewa. Good evening. Um, I don't want I need I need to yeah, the question is number one. I want to start from the death certificates. I don't know if people that are in that legacy have gone to confirm the death certificate. Did they was issue? Who did they issue the death certificate to? I'm waiting. That number. Hey, that just the first one yet. Can you please answer that, sir? No. Uh, but due to that it's really part of the evidence that we need, confirmation that we need, and it's very important in this case. Yes, it's, it's needed. So I'm very sorry, sir. So why for the past uh, five months, going to six months, at least we should be, even though we want to go to court, we should be gathering our evidence. So what's that? <clears throat> now, the... One thing I want everybody to know is that uh, the when this new lawyer came up, um, the CTC copy of that file of that case has just been prepared um, because the the truth about it is that the courts did not uh, have the CTC. So at the time, this new lawyer uh, come on board, he asked of uh, uh, he asked of the CTC from the old lawyer, but the old lawyer said he did not have anything. So preventions, uh, nothing was uh, handed over to the new team, to the new legal team, aside from the letter he, he wrote to to some people. So the new legal team took it upon themselves to write to the to the court to ask for the CTC because before you, you take up a case you will know where who and who has been asked some questions and then to know where they stop and then to know the way to go. So the truth is that the the lawyer they they indeed uh, asked the court. So as at that time the court reply that they don't have so a preparation an application was made so that um, the court could, could make it available and then you know the court in nigeria they are still analog not digital so they have to type all the question and answer so it took them since last year so they, they got that uh, early february to precise i think february 9 that was when they got that so and then they studied that so that in the preparation for the new inquest that will come up and then also in the preparation for them to to analyze the next forward so all those things they need to be doing at least they i think they have uh, they have uh, in their own uh, side they've analyzed it so uh, whatever they think we we need to know they will tell the family. So whatever they think that it is not for public consumption, so uh, they will not tell. They will not tell you. So that is why when you ask of certain questions that is uh, that is not meant to be revealed in the in the public, I will just tell you I don't know. And that was why when you said to the best of my knowledge, I don't know. They are saying that they do, and then because of the sensitivity of the case, they will not tell you. So, and then if you ask sometimes, it will just okay, allow us to do our job. So, uh, so that is, uh, that is that. Yeah, before I ask a question, I would like to know, is all this feedback you are getting from the internet is been getting to them, at least, at least to work on it, to help the open. Because it is not enough for us to be coming here every day, analyzing and open for justice. And when we analyze the whole thing finish, we pass our message across and we are not seeing feedback. Like it's not coming to tell us, at least we'll be seeing changes in, in the move. Why did I say that? Because I heard today that they wanted to come in back a, a, the inquest, but the address at which they are going to send the letters to is what they didn't get. So I was like, 
how 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 is that one possible when there is police station where this should, where these kids have been going to report themselves so i don't know what they are doing concerning that okay i thank you so much you know the legal system in nigeria or in the uh i would say in the world in nigeria every country are they have their own peculiar situations so there are things that is uh, uh that is applicable to my country that is not applicable elsewhere so since the case is being done in nigeria so you have to abide by rules and regulation of your country for example it's just as if somebody is saying okay baby you should go and fight police uh, okay police everybody know in this case police have done be happy matter but the main fact that police has not been happy matter does not mean you have to go and fight them because if you do fight them they are still the one you are going to run to at the end of the day so why will you be fighting for somebody you know that you still need this is your help because at the end of the day they are still the one you cannot if you kill yourself it is still the police you will you will run to in the first place at the, at the long run so now the, the, it is the prerogative of the court. It is the duty of the court to call, to call uh, the witness. It is the duty of the court, not the duty of the of the legacy. Now, in the wisdom of the legacy, they they might be they might help. In the wisdom of saying, oh, what is delaying? What is delaying? If the legal team feel that, oh, this is the reason that this is delaying, and then they are, maybe they are help, they want to help out. You understand? I don't think it's the, it's the legal team we should blame. Because ordinarily, it is the court that are meant to um, bring those people to the court. Because that court is not the legal team court. It is, still the, it is still the state, it is the magistrate that hold the court. That is why sometimes a magistrate can bind a lawyer, can bind a legal team in his court, in his or her court. So, before I can, I can the, allow other people to talk, concerning the death certificates, the thing is outside there, it was uh, police reports. So I don't think that that one has to do with court uh, CTA. It was a police, police report that they announced that uh, a, a death certificate was issued. I don't, I don't think that one was okay. has anything okay. to do with CTA. Okay, you are... Uh, the Death the, certificates. Yeah, you, you, know, you know, the death certificate that was issued, the police you know, were the one that said death certificate were issued, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, as of today, the death certificate that were issued, I don't think anybody has, has even seen it up to today. Isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that do they even make wow. a, a move to wow. go to the hospital to confirm it and everything? Now, on the, that is why I said there are some certain things that can be said online whereby there are some you know when in the in the in the in the issue of this case there are some certain things that uh they will be doing you understand that for me i will not i will not uh, be authorized to be saying it because of the sensitive of this case you understand so whatever they are they are doing that will make their their work to that they, they, that will make their work to be easier i think they are doing that no, you know the thing is that that's why I keep saying it that this underground the guy of the thing is giving people education, he's stressing people out. The thing is that yes, we've done it. No, they've not done it. We don't want to know what they've done so far. They've gone to, they've gone there. Yes, whether they've got it the, or not, we the, don't want to know. Death, look, the death certificate is to ascertain the day mobile died, isn't it? Yeah, to even know whether they issued that out. As in, who did who did they give it to? Which day did they give it? There, then that death certificate. Okay. Um. That question is going to you know, to be asked. I'm going to ask them. But on my own, what I know is that 
I can I can tell the whole world that Mobile died on Monday. Uh, please kindly ask for that, please. At least yeah. we'll know whether they've done it or not. Yeah. So, yeah. so lastly, so that another people, another person can ask questions. The, my last question, it was what I put to you the other time. That was what I'm still going to put to you. I've, 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 about group or any other day, have they applied for private autopsy? I'm not talking of toxicology yet. Private autopsy, yes or no? We want to know. Private autopsy. Yeah. The process is on. Good. That's a very good one. The process is on, I think. Yes, the process is on. Okay, they've given them go ahead or they, they are just applying for it. Look, he has answered you now. I thought the process, the is, on. process is on. No, no, Annie, 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 do you know why I'm you asking? Because people are listening, other people are listening. No, 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 Annie, Annie, wait, this is not secret. Saying that the process is on, so it's on. Wait, Queen, the other time, that's where I asked, and you people will not allow somebody to ask questions. This thing is not, people, okay, if people are listening to it, would they go and stop it? Would they go and collect it? Would they go and tap out with it? Ah, okay, we've just applied for it, or we've applied Jesus, for it. No, Jesus, he said the process is on. That word, uh, for me, my understanding, the process is on means it is already, it's been started. It's not just being applied for. The process is on. It can mean we we're already there, whether we're at the initial stage, in the middle stage, but he has confirmed the fact that, okay, it has been done. And well, I think that suffices. That's what I think. Hello, Jesus. Most so any matter in court has a limitation of discussion. That's just the fact. Any matter in court has a limitation of discussion. So the process is on, leave it that way. Yeah, let me just, uh, uh, Mr. Me, you uh, uh, agree with uh, uh, yeah, that. Really I appreciate you. And uh, I'm going to give you an out. My out I'm going to give you is there are. I'm going to be thoughtful about my questions because I understand it's not everything that you have to come out here and see on social media. So that's the out. And I'm going to try to be very respectful too. I'm not going to ask you a lot of uh, uh, what questions. I'm going to ask you a little bit of how questions. Um, we know, knowing what you know about what we're facing, the justice system, the judiciary, the police, and how they failed us so far. How are you and your team being proactive to make sure we can still navigate? Because you're right, we still need these people to give us justice. We know they've failed us so far. To your global audience, people that are behind you fighting, what kind of assurance and how can you make us understand that you are going to be proactive to make sure you navigate this corrupt system so we can get this justice? Yeah, um Thank you so much. You see, um, the, the Nigerian system has so much, um, has so much uh, corrupt to the extent that, well, we still have to believe in the systems. But be that is me, it's still our country. Now, as of today, um, the I don't know, maybe it's the governor that said, okay, autopsy is ready. Officially, it's not, it's not made public. Maybe they didn't get what they need to get. That is why they send it out again for the toxicology. The one thing I know is that there is no way the toxicology they are doing outside the country, there's no way the government will manipulate it. If they do, if they do, you don't, we can always get our own copy. We can only get our own copy. So they will not manipulate anything coming outside the country. I, I, I'm sure of that. The autopsy in Nigeria, I'm not saying they, will, they are going to compromise about it. I'm not saying it. But if they do, we shock them in our own way too. That is why I said there are things we, we will not say, we will not 
Because when you ask me, um, I won't answer. But let us just leave it. At least four weeks has gone out of the nine week. So we are left with five weeks. If at that, if they even bring out any resource from the uh, oncology, and then we discover that we are not, we are not, uh, we are not pleased with that. We are in a system in a Western world that ordinary bone, bone, a dry bone, they will submerge it to scientific uh, scenario, and then it's going to bring out what actually killed that person. Science has gone beyond people manipulating uh, things. Old artifacts, bring it out, they will tell you the story behind that. So, if people are still believing that, oh, let them, they will waste our time. They are wasting their own time. If the government bring out something that is not a please to the world, They will see the other side. How will you know that what they bring is is not correct? So they were when you don't have the one that you want to use to to compare it. Okay. <laughs> At the point of let them bring it out first. So many the question you are asking me, I've asked uh, I've asked many people. If we go this way, if they do this way, this is the way to go. If they do this way, this is the way to go. But you don't, it's a chess game. You don't tell your opponent the next step you want to make. Let them make that move first. After all, it is going to several months. This guy has uh, gone on that, under on this edge. Nobody, not even the governor, or not anybody believe that the 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 shouting will still be so loud. That is why you could see that the governor one day somebody confronted the governor and they say, "Is it the only mobile that that have died in the country?" Because they themselves they never envisage it that how could somebody die six months? It's as if he just died yesterday. The mystery behind it, they, they said they don't know. I'm very sorry, sir. But if we yeah. continue on that ground, that ground, and we public cannot carry along, we'll get tired and the team will die. And that's what we don't want. Uh, it's okay, it's my question. Sorry, it's okay. Uh, Mr. you are, um, yeah. thank you for answering my question. I, I can read in between the lines. And like I said, I, I give you an out. There are some questions that I will not ask. And there are some questions that I will ask that it's okay if you don't want to answer, but at least give me a response. Thank you, sir. Um, I want to ask you two questions. Number one, over the next five or six weeks that we have left, that they told us to wait for 10 weeks, do you think we'll be able to reopen the inquest and invite the people that we needed to have come in, testify, so we can seal that aspect and have something when the autopsy toxicology comes out at the end of the 10 weeks. That's question number one, sir. Do you think over the next few weeks, honestly, that we can reopen the inquest, have what we need to do, close that end, and then at the end of that 10 weeks, we can decide if we need to go to the court proceedings, sir? Okay, thank you so much. Yes, on the, on the part of the legal team of Columbia, they are doing everything possible to make sure that uh, they also help the court to make sure that uh, the, the necessary people that they want to bring to the, the, to the court is reached out to. So I believe that once that is done, uh, you know, I've been here for some hours, I've been listening to everybody. So most of the things that you people suggest, uh, at least I've been jotting some things down and then we look at okay, let us go this way, let us go this way, let us go this way. So the end point is for that investor to come up. If I don't believe in this team, if I don't believe in people, I won't be here 
want to listen to what they are saying and then try to get one or two information that help out. Thank you. My other question is, I understand where Jesus is coming from. There's a lot of people globally that are very, very concerned. Their mental health has been affected. And I personally believe that the hosts that are standing for justice for Mubad have a duty of care for their viewers. What I mean by that is they should be thoughtful about people they bring to their platform because there's too many, 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 many negative energy out there and people cannot sleep. So I'm, 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 I'm appealing to all the hosts out there, the true hosts that are out for justice for Mubad, you know yourself. Please use your platform. You have a responsibility of duty of care for your viewers. Be thoughtful about the type of people you bring in. Um, Mr. Biwa, for the people globally that have been affected by this spiritually, emotionally, mentally, financially, some people have lost their jobs because they cannot focus on this. Some of them are getting tired. They need a little bit of an olive branch, a little bit of something to hold on to, to continue to fight. What assurances do you have for these people to make sure that, because there are people that are concerned that um, the team is a little bit reactive. I am one of those people. I'll be very honest here and say it out. They're being too reactive, too slow. There are some things they should be doing. What assurances can you give people to make sure that the people that are concerned that, oh, maybe Baba Mobile's team, the already seen what's going on, they are negotiating behind the scene, they know some things that are in public. What assurances do you have for the global audience? But this is global now. To continue to encourage us to continue to fight. Because I'll be honest, there are some steps the team have taken that should have been proactive. But again, just like my sister Anna Sukwa said, uh, there were some steps we would have taken long, long, long before, but we didn't know what we know now. Knowing what we know now. And again, it's not everything you have to say publicly. And I believe, and I'm hoping, that the team is partnering with Brekete. And I know Brekete is not representing Baba. He's supporting, he's helping. And I hope they are doing their own behind the scenes. So please, honestly, what assurances can you give the global fighters on the ground to give us assurances that there is no such thing behind the scenes happening no negotiation that will still push this forward and try to get our mental health back and our life back because this justice for mubad is not just for mubad it's for humanity it is for humanity globally this thing has affected a lot of people nigeria a lot of countries are looking up to us we have an opportunity for the first time to do the right thing to do the right thing and change the trajectory of our country. Mr. Mu, you are, you are closer, please. Again, you don't have to say too much, but what assurances can you give to your masters out there, sir? Yeah, thank you all. On behalf of the Alaba family, one thing is sure, we will not bow down. No retreat, no surrender, the justice we are seeking for, just like what I've been saying, it is not for Mubad. Mubad has gone. But for the unborn, for the people who are still in Nigeria, for the youth of Nigeria, for the youth of Africa, that some people will not just be killing our future star. This justice must be it is fight to finish it is fight to finish no retreat no surrender if family is not by down a lot of people they suffer a lot for this it is not at this point that for what for a life that has been lost for how much can the money can it bring Mumbai back can it bring all the people who have lost their sanity no there's no negotiation anywhere if you look at i take for example 
an average equity man he said we are we are stubborn no it is just the principle we have we are not stubborn whatever we believe in in that course we fight it to finish that is how we brought up and then that is the warrior in us we will not stop until justice is given until justice is done i can show the whole world um let me ask you let me just ask um one or two questions um, um about the cc about the cctv was there a cctv in the house that's the first question and was the house where this this um the death took place was that house um supposed not to be um barricaded by tape for people not to tamper with the evidence but the police not to, supposed to barricade that house so that people cannot tamper with evidence in the house and was there no cctv camera in that house that's a two question i want you to answer well um i'm not living with them and then baba mubatu is not living with them the question will have been best answered by Mubad, but it's a pity it's no more. The, that question, that answered, can only be answered by the second in command, which is Wumi. And then that is why the whole family is saying that he should come and tell us we, what he knows. He has said he knows a lot. And then concerning uh, barricading the old house, it is not Baba Mubad uh, to do that. It is a, it is a police. If Nigerian system, if Nigerian uh, security system is doing what they are meant to do, the mere fact that Baba Mubad even left Mubad house on the day on Tuesday, I think on the 13th September 2023, to go to the police station to make a report that if, if somebody died. They shouldn't even after reading that statement because according to him what he told me they have already finished the statement he has already they are about to sign when one police when one of guys just came and said no 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 they should all go they should all know they will not be given somebody after they have spent three hours they did not say they are fighting they say somebody have died the police in a normal situation, in a normal country, in a normal state, in a normal local government, in a normal county, the police should have even followed them to that house and go and see what is happening. But did the police, the person that they did, they did not give him a statement, so is it the person they will follow down to the place? If Baba Mubad have even come to that police station, and say okay i want you to come and arrest somebody would they follow somebody that have been there for three hours the police system the system failed mubad in his uh, when he was alive they even failed mubad when after he, after up to now they are still doing that almost one week the second in command will have said you know a lot the police hierarchy has not deemed fit to invite her to come and tell them and then they said they want justice they said they want on this thing we are waiting for the because in nigeria it okay. is government it is government that prosecutes when it comes to issue of uh uh issue of um uh, i will have put it uh maybe when somebody died it's government that prosecutes we want to we want to see what the government will bring out the people they want to prosecute without without somebody that said he knows a lot we are waiting for them okay mr mr Mewa, good evening my name is Anne. i've got a question for you actually i think two questions um the first question i have is i'm sorry if if you feel you don't have to answer that's okay i would respect that um when the exhumation was done and the cops was taken to the hospital do you know if we have post-mortem pictures of the body after exhumation yes or no 
Teddy bears of my lunar yard, you know. 